the deputy IGP, the chief of joint staff is not here, the head of police authority secretariat, Hajibogere, you stand up. These people should know that it is you who burnt the midnight candle. All directors and other senior security officers who are present here, the undersecretary, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Uganda Police Force Headquarters. Today, we gather to congratulate and pick the officers who have been promoted. This is one of the many ceremonies that depict what years of hard work constant learning, improving, and commitment lead to. I'm sure for everyone seated here, this moment didn't come easily. First, I want to thank the families and friends of those promoted for playing a crucial role in supporting the officers as they move forward in this great institution. Family members often inspire, stand by, and sometimes console us. So I want to thank them for their unconditional support, without which we will not be here today. Similarly, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all servicemen and women, past and present, who have contributed to the development of the police. The Uganda Police Force Management is planning for yet another round of promotions for other deserving officers that were not able to benefit from this particular list. <laughs> to those who are promoted, I offer you my sincere congratulations on your new ranks and the institution assumes that you are ready and able to take on the responsibilities commensurate with those respective ranks. A task of particular importance for those promoted will be ensuring that you are not defined by the new ranks and formal leadership positions alone, but by demonstrated leadership in thinking, in word, and in deed, and in your convictions to do the right thing for our population. As senior officers, the junior officers will also look to you for leadership. I say to all of us, let's aspire to this leadership position out of a deep sense of duty and humility. As the police management, we are consistent in our call for highly trained and professional officers who exhibit courage with compassion, care, and the exceptional understanding of the population we serve. This demands, this demands constant work that involves the following. One, improving the quality of police-related services we offer to the public. Two, engaging the community through locally tailored community policing programs aimed at building stronger trust between the police and the population. Three, enhancing officer training, especially on the adaptation and the use of modern technologies. And four, digitalizing and integrating crime records for the purposes of easy detection, reporting, tracking, supervising, and analysis of crime needs, crime trends. One of our most urgent priorities is to provide decent accommodation to our officers. As over recent years, we will continue to ensure that the general welfare and working conditions of our officers are improved. We hope to fully resolve the issue of providing permanent housing with time. Therefore, as you assume the new ranks of leadership, you will shoulder the responsibility of continuing this effort to seek ways to innovate to keep the UPF ahead of the curve and keep Ugandans secure. I have confidence in your ability to overcome any challenges in your way and lead your pers personnel well. 
Currently, the Uganda Police Force has achieved good results in the number of areas, but people are looking to you for even higher quality work, in particular in combating crime, strengthening command and control, and improving the general welfare of the personnel under your command. As I conclude, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to H.E. the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces for promoting the officers. I also thank the Minister of Internal Affairs and the entire Police Authority for their supervisory role. Finally, I would like to congratulate all of you once again on your promotions. I'm sure that you will measure up to the confidence placed in you and will achieve even greater success in your service for the good of our country. I wish you good health and success. Congratulations.